In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your GoDaddy domain to your Netlify website. So if you want to go and add your own custom domain to your website, then we can do that directly in the Netlify website. So the first thing we're going to do is just log in to the Netlify dashboard and then click on domains from the left hand side. You can then click on add or register domain and select add a domain you already own. Now you just need to go and type in the name of your domain name and then press verify. Now you'll get this message that says the domain names already registered and we basically need to go and confirm that this domain name belongs to us so just go and press add domain you can then scroll down and click on continue now what you need to do is go and update your name servers to the following addresses here so I'm going to show you how to do that now so we're just going to start by heading over to the GoDaddy website and in the top right hand side go and sign in with your account once you're signed in click on your profile name and then click on my products you can then scroll down until you see your domain name and click on DNS. You can then scroll down again and click on name servers and click on change name servers. Click on I'll use my own name servers and this is where we need to go and add all of these Netlify domains. So I'm going to start with this top one by pressing the copy button. You can then head back over to GoDaddy and go and paste that inside of here. Now you need to do that with all four domains. So I'm going to click on add name server at the bottom and you can see that I have all of my four different name servers added here and then we can go and just press save and then finally click on continue. Now once you've done that you can head back over to Netlify and then you can scroll down and click on done. Now once you've changed your name servers you'll need to wait 24 to 48 hours in order for this to come through to Netlify. So you can essentially just keep checking this page every few hours until it's updated and once it's updated you'll be able to see all of your different DNS records and we can then begin using this domain name for our website in Netterfly. So it's really as simple as that guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.